वेलकम ऑल इन कंटिन्यूएशन विथ दिस सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स टूडे वील सी द कैरनोट साइकिल सी सादी कैरनोट इज वन ऑफ दन साइंटिस्ट इन आई थिंक इट्स इन फ्रेंच ओके ही हेज डिराइव वन रिवर्स वर्क वेरी गुड ऑन दिस रिवर्सी वेहकल वील अंडरस्टैंड बिफोर गोइंग द रिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस फॉर एंट्रोपी वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस हॉट द कैरनोट साइकिल गिवन टू अस राइट सी इट इज अ फर्स्ट पॉइंट अबाउट दिस Uh, request you guys please subscribe the channel those who are not subscribed and share you with your friends okay see we will start carnot cycle let me take the pen carnot carnot cycle see it is a first point about this it is a reversible it is it is a reversible cycle reversible cycle the second thing is see <coughs> when do you call cycle as a reversible right all the process should be reversible means in in this cycle in this cycle all processes are reversible okay then and then only we can call it as a reversible cycle right uh, you understood this means see uh, the reversible means there will not be any single process with the reversible what the reversible means you know that is a, it is a very slow process right and without slow without friction that is called reversible process right so this is what the meaning of reversible right okay in the carnot cycle it has the four processes carnot cycle has carnot cycle i will take it in the next slide let me add as yes, carnot cycle has four processes carnot carnot cycle has four processes which are those four processes i think you have might have studied earlier right the one is isothermal expansion right isothermal expansion the second one is adiabatic expansion adiabatic expansion the third process is isothermal compression isothermal compression right and the fourth is adiabatic compression adiabatic compression right these are the four processes in this cycle okay so so we will the see the adiabatic compression right isothermal compression these are the four and see here q is in isothermal expansion q is supplied that is heat is q is supplied in expansion c in isothermal compression q is rejected means heat rejected and supplied is the isothermal process right so so here the only in the total four process there are mainly two process that is both are the isothermal and adiabatic both are two isothermal and two adiabatic these are the process in this right so we understood that the isothermal process is very slow process right see isothermal isothermal process is isothermal process is very slow process we know this very slow process but how we understand that adiab adiabatic process is slow right see similarly in adiabatic adiabatic 
सी ऑल दिस पूरा रिवर्सिबल सो एडियाबेटिक शुड बी ऑल्सो रिवर्सिबल हाउ एडियाबेटिक शुड बी रिवर्सिबल एज इट इज अ वेरी फास्ट प्रोसेस यू नो राइट सो सी इन द एडियाबेटिक सपोज लेट मी टेक सी यर if i take the piston cylinder arrangement right in this right this is a cylinder right this is the cylinder and this is piston right so in this see if i remove a very small these are the small weights which are kept on this piston okay slowly slowly what i will do i will remove this weights right this we can make the process as uh, the adiabatic which is very slow right we can make like this now uh, now see uh, See, actually, it is possible. This cycle is possible, right? But it is not. Why it is not impractical? I will show you. See, if you start, uh, if you put the carrier cycle in your engine, right? If it is a very slow process, it is possible to get that much speed quickly. See, if in the morning you start to kicking your bicycle awake, and in the evening it will start. Whether it is acceptable for you, so it is. it is possible the cycle is possible but it is impractical in practically it is not possible right so we cannot take this cycle right as a practical yes it is possible okay and the one more thing is carrier cycle is help us to find out to compare the efficiency with the other cycles because as this cycle is reversible so it has a carnot cycle has carnot cycle has maximum efficiency max efficiency right this cycle has maximum efficiency you understood so okay maximum efficiency right the efficiency of the carrier cycle is maximum efficiency whether it is 100% no it is not 100% but its efficiency is maximum okay so compared to other cycles the actual cycles which you can see the day to day life right uh, then see if carrier cycle is 100 efficiency then again there there the, the, you can raise uh, your finger to kelvin planck statement right there is a means there is a failure if it is 100% then kelvin planck statement tells us that the, no cycle will be uh, uh, run with 100 100% efficiency okay you yes you can the you can the carrier cycle efficiency up to 70% right so with that if you got the carrier cycle efficiency 70% the other cycle you can compare with that right with the efficiency you want to show the carrier cycle is too much helpful now we will see this cycle uh, on uh, with the help of this uh, graph okay see let me draw this pv diagram with the help of the pv diagram we will understand the various processes in carnot cycle see this graph i plotted against pressure versus volume see this is what the isothermal process right this is the isothermal expansion this is the adiabatic right adiabatic expansion this is a Uh, isothermal compression and again this is adiabatic expansion like this three forces okay you understood this and the cycle as it is heating it is a in clockwise direction right so the process 1 to 2 is this this is called uh, process 1 to 2 this is a isothermal expansion this is a 3 and this is a my four point right so you know as the work uh, clockwise cycles are work producing cycles right from 1 to 2 here again it is a isothermal isothermal process isothermal process uh the 2 to 3 that is adiabatic isothermal it is a, a, a isothermal expansion right again it is adiabatic expansion 
adiabatic expansion the 2 to 3 3 to 4 it is isothermal isothermal compression okay and 4 to 1 again it is adiabatic adiabatic expansion yeah, sorry adiabatic compression compression right like this how the scanner cycle work see how beautifully this engine has developed by sadi carnot right actually there is a good story about this carnot right at the very less age okay in the middle age of his life he died because of i think cholera exactly don't know the reason but the work the 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 for the the support which he has given to the thermodynamics is very lot right so see now now see now in the reservoir hot remains constant see the uh, here see suppose how i can write let me go into the next page okay we see the earlier we have seen this is the reservoir t1 right the heat flows from this to the heat engine right this is the heat engine right and we are getting the network here okay when we are getting the network what if we are supplying right let me just undo this right this is our reservoir 2 okay sink you can call it as if this is a q2 amount of his supply q1 is his supply so here efficiency what we have calculated earlier that is 1 minus qr right by q heat supply so this is what the work net to the heat supply that is what the efficiency we have discussed in in our earlier right so the actually in the area which under let me go to the previous slide see this area which is giving that is the network this network okay area under p diagram giving us the network okay okay i will move on to the next page uh, now see see that there is one carnot theorems let me write down that carnot carnot carnot's theorem what this theorem tells us see for different engines operating please note down this for different for different engines operating between for different engines operating between operating between operating between the same temperature limits between the same temperature limits no engine has efficiency no engine has efficiency efficiency greater than carnot cycle efficiency greater than carnot carnot cycle efficiency right so see here look at the board okay i will explain you it in detail okay this is what the two reservoirs okay in this two in this, these are the reservoirs okay uh, where is pen yes here see these are the two cycles means this is a one cycle this is a other cycle right the heat this is the reservoir at temperature t1 and this is at temperature t2 maybe this is a source and this is a sink right so see this giving see suppose this is a irreversible engine okay irreversible irreversible and this is a reversible okay this is a reversible engine and it is producing work of w2 right this is reversible okay see what according to the scanner theorem that is see first what i will do uh, i will assume okay what the the efficiency of the irreversible engine is greater than the efficiency of reversible engine first i will assume this okay you know in case of the reversible engine there is always greater efficiency but we will first assume 
okay what the irreversible efficiency is less than means see the w1 here which is a irreversible engine that is q1 is greater than w2 q2 right this we will assume first okay now we will see uh, uh, now in the i will let me go to the next slide see this is what the q1 okay q1 supplying here here is q1 and this is a q2 rejecting heat to the sink 2 right see whatever the amount suppose see what i will do now here okay uh, here the uh, the whatever w1 getting from this i'll let me do it in the next page i will see please understand this very carefully this is a very important i don't know how much i am efficient to understand to you guys but i'll try to i just try as per my best okay these are the two reservoirs okay and and these are the two engines right so what i will do see in order to prove the, the whether that statement which i given the efficiency of the irreversible engine greater than in order to prove that okay this is the q1 supplying and q2 supplying rejecting okay not supplying it is reje rejected to the atmosphere and the q q1 is let me correct the previous my keep on moving ahead yes this is okay the q the q3 is coming from this side okay this is what the q3 it is taking the heat from here then instead of here what i will do see see here just wait i have to delete this slides yes in this slide here instead of getting work output from this i will attach this whatever the w1 is coming to this here okay means w1 is getting from this irreversible engine okay that work i will take to this i will give to this engine okay means the not whole the work but exactly around suppose this is what the 200 then i will give this to the 100 okay 100 amount of work from this 200 i will give to this and see here i will get the work net right the work net is balance is 100 kilojoule of work is balanced right see now i can this reservoir is at temperature t1 right and this is reservoir at temperature t2 okay now what i will do i will remove this reservoir and and i will connect see the, the reason now i no need required this reservoir right so the whatever the q1 is coming from here i will connect this to this here directly and i will remove this reservoir okay then see now you can see now uh, is it possible right what you can say is uh, whether it is possible or not if I remove this reservoir and I connect this Q1 and this same amount of this Q2 one, whatever coming from this, I will supply to this, right? No, it is impossible because it is again the violation of uh, Kelvin's Planck statement or second law of thermodynamics, right? Which is one statement that is Kelvin Planck statement. So it is impossible, right? So see, suppose I will explain it in in different way. Let me take a yes see this is the one i'll explain it in by the little bit different way see the, suppose in the in this three reservoir i connected three engines this is one device i'll connect the three devices here right okay like this device i'll connect If you are not able to understand, please ask, okay? Like this, the three engines I have connected, okay? This engine is, the temperature is T1 here and here it is T2. Okay, the T2 temperature here and uh, this is engine 1, this is engine 2 and this is engine 3, right? And see, the all engines are at the same operating temperatures, okay? 
and all three engines are reversible right so so efficiency c if uh, if c uh, i use uh, different fluids for this engine i will use the different fluids for this suppose i use the uh, petrol right for this engine i will use diesel and for this i use kerosene right then if for the different working fluid whether there is a change in the uh, if i use change the working fluid in the engine whether there is a change in the efficiency no not at all means the efficiency of the carnot cycle is independent of this working fluid so here see i will make three points here let me write down the first point is that is all the reversible engine working between same temperature limits will be have a same efficiency right all the reversible engine all the reversible engine working between same temperature same temperature limits will have same efficiency right the second point is the efficiency of the reversible is independent of the working fluid right the efficiency of reversible engine is independent of working fluid working fluid right and the third point the efficiency of a reversible engine only depends upon the temperature limits right the efficiency of a reversible engine the efficiency of the reversible engine only depends on only depends on the reservoir reservoir temperature limits right these are the three points related to the carnot cycle you understood this okay now see <coughs> now see here uh, let me go to the next slide see suppose this 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 is the one reservoir taken that's at temperature t1 okay between this i have connected one device right the heat pump the heat is operating between these two limits right and it is giving some work w1 and in t2 and between t3 okay i will connect uh, between t2 and the t3 right i will connect one more reservoir right this is a t3 and this is e2 engine this is e1 okay these are all are reversible engines okay this is also reversible this is also reversible right this is giving the work w2 okay the q1 amount of heat is supplied q2 is rejected here and again the same q2 utilized here and q3 is comes here right and the other engine that is t1 right the e means the e3 the third engine i have connected here like this right and this is also w3 right this is also a reversible engine okay now see the efficiency if i calculate the efficiency of uh, the first right this is that is work net upon the q heat supplied right which is that is q1 by q1 minus q2 by q1 right that is equal to 1 minus q2 by q1 okay from the see from the experimental from the kelvin experiment it understand that this q1 and q2 are only function of temperature right so this q2 by q1 is only the function of this t2 t1 and t2 okay so from this i can write that the efficiency of the carnot cycle or reversible is equal to okay q1 uh, sorry q2 by q1 is equal to t2 by t1 i can write like this right so this is sort the carnot cycle efficiency you understood
it is not that much difficult okay so this is what the efficiency of the canon cycle which depends only the temperature limits between the reservoirs right so please in the exam there will directly questions from just you have to see the one more important thing here you must have to put in kelvin right this this temperature you have to put in kelvin okay the both temperatures even though the degree centigrade is given then you have to keep it in kelvin then you find the answer and see uh, this whatever this this efficiency is valid for this is for reversible as well as irreversible right this is valid for reversible reversible as well as reversible as well as irreversible irreversible and this is only valid for valid only only for only for reversible engine okay you understood this now uh, this is what the efficiency of the carnot cycle right so i think in last class we have discussed about the coefficient of performance right that thing we have discussed in the last class right so similarly we can write for this statement we can write for this coefficient of performance of refrigeration right so the cop of refrigeration right that is equal to desired effect upon the energy input right energy input so what is this that is q2 upon q1 minus q2 so from this i can write as q1 upon q2 is equal to t1 upon t2 just now we have find this right so for this is for reversible engine only you can write just you think you have to only for only for reversible engine reversible engine you can write like this okay so i can write the coefficient of performance of refrigeration is equal to t2 by in place of q i can write plus t right t2 t1 minus t2 right okay and similarly in case of heat engine uh, right in case of heat engine how you will write this in case of not heat engine no in case of heat pump right cop for heat pump you can write it as t1 upon right a t1 minus t2 right so the t1 is t higher right so t higher minus t lower like this you can write okay this is a reversible heat pump coefficient of performance reversible heat pump okay you understood i think up till now no any doubts okay with this we will stop for the today's class i think if you have understood anything okay you have doubt in any slides in this please ask and don't where we are okay yeah. please uh, thanks for watching hit uh, please subscribe my channel share with your friends also and and like all my videos okay guys then in the what we will do in the next class whatever the concept we have discussed now we will the problems we will take in the next class okay see once we complete the problems then we will move on to the the entropy concept right slowly slowly we are going towards the entropy okay guys thanks for watching thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel and those guys i created for all you all that is uh, the playlist which i have created which are very important playlist in short see i'll try to explain the subject in detail wherever i required 
but if from the gate point of view so that you will quickly revise aqua like that i have i have discussed everything in every subject right so this is my i think this uh, the design parts we already covered i have created a playlist also you just search shiv academy of mechanical engineering and start working on this okay please study carefully be sincere and get good rank in the gate and wish you all the best thank you